Yo, 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 John here from a monolith. Today I'm gonna get into some nerdy shit. Um, yeah, if you're into home recording, vocal recording, I'm gonna show you what I use to record my demos. And I actually use the same signal path, the same chain for my professional studio shit. Um, I record a bunch of a monolith stuff here. And, you know, I record a lot of stuff for bands as well since I run my own studio. So I'll take you through my vocal chain. Um, first off, I've had this Rode microphone. Ah, it's a Rode NTK. I've had that for a lot of years. It's a great uh, condenser microphone. Uh, I use that for a lot of vocals. And I have actually been using this SM7B as well. Um, I use this for a lot of screaming, singing. It's like it's more of a dynamic mic. It's very well used in my studio. I actually did all of the monolith recording with that mic. Um, but yeah, they both give different sounds and I mix it up. So, uh, the mic goes into this preamp. Uh, it's this is a Vintec single channel pre. It's got an EQ. It, uh, pretty much emulates a Neve style preamp. And once it goes through there, it goes through my distressor. That is a compressor. All you nerds know that shit. That's a great unit. And then from there, we run it through some conversion. I run it through this Rosetta, uh, Apogee Rosetta converter. You know, that's a analog to digital converter. And that rolls into my Pro Tools 192, which goes into my computer. So it's like a nice clean signal path. Um, I've been using it for a lot of years, very tried and true. And I get a great sound out of it. So that's what I use.